What is up you guys, it is Demise45 here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing something a bit different here on my channel, and I'm going to be showing you guys what you can do with the broken buttons that you may have on your My Phone Hacker Rio. So, if you guys are like me, um, my power button is broken, and my buttons on my phone, the hardware buttons, not the software buttons that you're seeing here, the buttons that come with the phone are not working, like they're up, I can't press them, I can't go back on them, I can't do anything on them, and my power button is stuck, I can't tap, I can't click on it anymore, it's not opening, and the only real button that's still working is my volume buttons. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys, if you guys are having these problems, I'm going to show you guys how you can get around these problems with software that you can use on your my phone locker reel to furthermore um um to uh fix most of these problems with you know software apps with apps that i'm going to be showing you guys and one app here the one here called gravity box needs root access the other one called volume power right here does not need root access so just keep that in mind and um yeah we can go ahead and start okay so first um the first thing you'll need to do is to make sure that you have root access on your my phone Opera Rio. if you don't know how to do that go ahead and check the link in the video description below and to watch my tutorial on how to root the my phone Opera Rio. follow the procedure there and follow it very carefully because rooting does void your warranty and once you're done, come back to this video and continue with the procedure. Then once you make sure your My Phone Locker Rio is rooted, go ahead and make sure unknown sources is checked in your settings. So to do that, go into your settings, then scroll down to security and make sure under device administration, unknown sources is checked. If it isn't, make sure it is. And then once you make sure it's checked, go ahead and download the app called Expose Installer, which I left a link to also in the video description below. Go ahead and download it, tap on it, and open it in any browser you want. Then scroll all the way down till you see download. And then once you find the download link, go ahead and download it. And then once you finish downloading it, go ahead and go to the notification center at the top. Then tap on the download itself. And then you should get a pop-up asking you to install it, tap on install, wait for it to finish installing. Then once it does finish its installing, tap open. And if this is your first time opening it up, you will need to update the framework. So to do that, tap on framework at the top. And then tap on install slash update. And then it should ask you for root permissions. So make sure you tap grant. And then once you make sure you gave it root permissions it will ask you a pop-up will appear and it'll ask you to reboot your android device so go ahead and tap ok and then wait for your android device to finish rebooting then once it does finish rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen go ahead and unlock it then go into download and then um if you have a decent internet connection just wait for it and then once it finishes loading up, tap the search icon at the top and then type in the type in gravity box in the yeah, type in gravity box. Wait. Yeah, anyways, just tap on gravity box and then tap on it, swipe left, and then download the module itself. Wait for it to finish downloading. Then once it does finish downloading, you should get a pop-up asking you to install it. Tap on install. Wait for it to finish installing. Then once it does finish installing, do not tap open. Tap done. Then tap this little um, box here at the top and tap on modules. And then make sure the module called Gravity Box is checked. Then once you make sure it's checked, go back here. Tap on the back button at the top left. Then tap on framework. And then tap soft reboot. Then grant it user super user permissions, and then wait for your Android. Then wait for your my phone to finish rebooting. Then once it does finish rebooting, and you're back up at your lock screen, go ahead and unlock it. 
and then go into your app drawer right here the little circle here and find the app called gravity box and then once you find it open it up and then once it opens up for the first time you should get a uh, screen that looks like this and then from here there are many tweaks that you can do there are many um, options that you get in order to um, customize it to the way you want but we're not going to be focused on all of them we're just going to be fixing most of the problems that you may be having with your microphone reel so if you're having problems with the buttons just like me go towards this navigation bar tweaks then tap on this master switch right here and make sure it's on and then and then you can and make sure you tap on enable navigation bar and if you want you can make your um on screen buttons look just like lollipop right here by tapping on original or large and then do not reboot your android device just yet uh, also going also inside here go to where it says custom key settings and make sure you tap on enable the custom key and then you will see a little button here at the bottom left of your of your on-screen buttons with three dots by default and you can change these options to whatever you want and if you're having problems like me with your power button one of the best things you can do is under single tap action tap make sure you select show power menu so that when you tap on it so that when you tap on it you'll get the power menu right here just like this and you can also use long press to toggle on the torch so you can use the flashlight on your camera flash and you can use double tap to make it go to sleep but that all depends on you what it, you want to do but yeah make sure you use show power menu in any of these actions here and then once you've done that once you've done all that make once you've done all this here, go ahead and reboot your Android device. Go ahead and reboot your Android device. And if you're like me and your button is broken, just go to Expose Installer, go to Framework, and then tap on Soft Reboot again and let it reboot your Android device. Then once you're back up and your Android device is open, go ahead and go ahead and unlock your lock screen. And also and then once you've done all that you should get the buttons right here at the bottom and and also since my only working button is the volumes you're also gonna need an app called volume power right here which I left a link to in the video description below so that you can use your volume buttons to wake up your Android device so go ahead and go to that link and it'll it should go straight to the Play Store. Go ahead and download the app. Then once you finish downloading the app, it won't ask you for root permissions. But um, yeah. So, and then make sure it's enabled and make sure these two bot, these two boxes are checked. One for boot so that it starts up after you re reboot or you turn on your Android device and screen off for this little um notification here to turn off your screen from the notification center. Then once you've done that, it should be working right away. So now every time you turn off your screen, you can use your volume buttons to wake up your my phone Nakarillo. And uh, so far these tweaks and these uh, things have been working out for me. They've helped me a lot very well. And so far, I think these are one of the best solutions that you can use if your buttons are broken on your my phone knocker reel except for your volume button so either way guys that is it that is how to fix that is how to um fix um broken buttons with the my phone knocker reel and that's it guys that is yeah that that's really it guys that is how to fix broken buttons um yeah that says that's how to fix broken buttons with the my phone knocker wheel 
So if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that would definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, or if you have any problems with this whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demisa45, signing off.